couldn't, you know, use thermal catch mold. You can get them on Hair Sisters or, um, sorry, HairSisters.com or one of those hair websites. Any, anyway. um, but anyway, this is the hair that you guys see. It is 18 inches to give it. Like for me, it comes down to about halfway down my breast. And for me, I'm five nine, so for most people, that'd be like crazy long. What you see on the back. Okay, but I really like the style. I got it in a number 427. I'm looking, sorry, who was it for? P427, so that's piano, meaning like it's, um, you'll get color 4, the next to that is 27, the next to that is 4. Um, but, uh, I sewed up my hair, um, trying to lift up my bang. I sewed up my hair going down around back here and the rest just going straight back leaving only that part and now I need a comb and I don't have one in here do I but um, that's how I did my hair I just have that one part and then I have my own hair left in the front and in, in the front up here and then again in the very back so just the short, um, the top shortest layer of my hair is out and showing. But I really like this look. It's only three days old. Um, since I'm probably not going to get a chance to show this video to you till later anyway, um, I'll try and like record for how I feel right before I take it out. But like I said, I might take it out a little early just because, um, I don't know, I wasn't really planning on leaving it in that long. And it's a little bit more hair than I thought it would be. But I wanted to show you guys how the curls look before I separate them too much. Before I, uh, you know, because separating I just do like this. And for me, I know um, with my synthetic weaves too, just like any other weave, the curl patterns would change a little bit, slightly. Just because um, what I normally do is I will start to brush my curls out. Which to me looks even more natural. Um, but overall with synthetic hair, the curls will start to gather again. I'm trying to think, was there anything else I could tell you guys about this weave? So far, so good. I've had it in one day. Slept on it. I did not um, flat iron my hair with the synthetic hair to blend. I just simply wrapped. So this is part two of my review on this hair. Um, it is nice hair, um, but I would not leave it in for longer than two weeks. It's already really ratty. You can see like the ends, you know, it looks like fake hair, um, like synthetic hair. Um, I constantly have to comb and brush. Even if I take a comb to do a thorough brushing, not just um, a paddle brush to brush it out. The benefit of synthetic hair with curls is that your curls come back. The bad part is that it comes back, but like it's almost starting to kind of lock. It's, all, it, it's just looking really ratty. Especially to me on the ends. Even a friend of mine who doesn't wear hair extensions at all, doesn't really know anything about them other than what she like. The little bit that I'll tell her about with mine, when um, she she was like they're looking kind of ratty now. You know they were okay for tonight, but she was even like it's time to take it out. <laughs> so, um, but I've had it in for two weeks and two days. Her, let me like actually leave it back here so you guys can see. Two weeks and two days. Another note I would make for those of you um, when wearing hair like this, the weft. It seems like it's a lot thinner and you want to make sure that you probably double secure when you're sewing it in because one thing I've noticed especially because synthetic hair kind of I think I itch a little more with synthetic hair for one but what I noticed is that um, it seems to break the string easier whereas when I use human hair for some reason I don't normally have to worry about my strings getting broken like the string when you sew it in. I sew it in once. I don't have to touch anything up. 
Um, but I do remember before with synthetic hair, sometimes I would have that problem and I did have that problem with this hair that I had to go back and um, sew certain parts over again because it would actually like cut through the string. Um, yeah, but like I said, you know, just making sure you secure it better when you first do your hair. That's not a problem. Just don't do a lazy job like I had done when I did this. But I'm just showing you guys because I'm actually about to take it down because uh, you can see it's not looking so cute anymore. That's why I was wearing a hat today. But um, yeah, it's just time to come down. So I'm about to take my hair down. I said I'd show you guys how it looked. The, the curls have been brushed out. Um, didn't look any different. They came right back. But um, they're starting to just kind of get a little walky on me. So it starts feeling really dry. My fingers are constantly stuck in my hair. Instead of being able to actually run my fingers through my hair, it starts getting stuck more which pulls more on my natural hair. Um, other than that, I don't really know what to tell you. Dry starts to get those ends, that synthetic hair ends. If any of you wear half wigs or real synthetic wigs, you know what I'm talking about, those ends, because I've actually chopped off the ends on these. Um, I've cut them twice, and I've only had the hair in for two weeks. So that's my review on it. The hair's okay, but to me, two weeks is about the max I would do with it. Alright. Anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Some of you may not agree with me. That's fine. Maybe you have um, better experiences with the hair than me. But um, that was my experience with this batch of hair. So I'll try and if you guys like these reviews I'll try and keep them coming. Um, and that I'm about to take my hair down and go to bed. Alright, see you guys later. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Stay fierce and bye-bye.